Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you are new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and now a YouTube channel. So welcome if this is your first time on my YouTube channel. Today is top 10 Christmas gift ideas. Wow. We're early, but to be honest, it's locked down in the UK. There's not really much else for us to focus on right now. Why not get your online shopping done now? And then as soon as Boris gives us the go ahead to go out, you can be like, do you know what? I use my time wisely. I got my Christmas shopping done and December is just all about drinking. <laughs> so before we begin, grab yourself a coffee or a cup of tea. I've got myself a dirty chai latte on Instagram. I've had so many people message me saying, what the hell is a dirty chai latte? And it is a chai tea latte with a shot of coffee. And I'm not joking, if you've never had one before, unbelievable. Get comfy and let's talk Christmas presents. Okay, in no particular order, I am gonna give you 10 gift ideas. Before we start, I wanna just say, these gifts are very practical in my opinion and this is very risque i know some people will completely disagree with it and christmas is a time to just go the flow but for me i am really about telling people what i want for christmas not in a bratty like selfish way like i want this for christmas it's more if someone says to me emily what do you want for christmas i'm not going to be like i don't know just surprise me because i know i'm going to end up with socks i'm never going to use again I don't want my parents to spend a ridiculous amount of money on me. And now that I'm 30, it's like rolls reverse for my mum and dad. Like, I want to spend more money on them than they should spend on me. Either way, anything anyone gets me for Christmas, I want it to be something that I'm going to get use out of. And then I'm going to be like, did you use it? And they're like, um, yeah, I used it. And really, it's sat in a drawer and I've not looked at it for 12 months. So it's a bit, it's a bit of a Rachel Green friend situation where she returns the presents for things. I'm not like that, but... I'd just rather be honest with people and say, if you are going to get me a gift this year, you don't have to. Please don't feel like you have to get me a gift. I'd rather you didn't. But if you are going to spend money on me, here's some ideas of things that I actually really need. So with that being said, let's get going. I'm going to show you my 10 items now. So number one is something that I have spoke about quite often on my Instagram stories, and that is my Apple Watch. This was actually a gift for my 30th birthday from my auntie. Completely unexpected. I had no idea that she was going to spend that much money on me. I still to this day can't believe she bought me an Apple Watch for my 30th. It's nuts. It's one of the best gifts I've ever received. It is so handy to have. It tells you the time, weather, your heart rate, how many calories you're burning. You can ring people off it. You can pay with Apple Pay on it. You can listen to music. You can read the news. You can text people. You can have a walkie-talkie. It even tells you to breathe so that you are less anxious. It tells you when you're not active enough. It has an alarm on it, your emails on it, notifications. If you're an Apple lover, this is a great addition. I mean, I've wanted one for so long and auntie got one and then I must have said to my auntie like, oh my God, I'd love an Apple watch, but they're just so expensive. And she just remembered and she bought me it and I was like, what? You bought me an Apple watch, this is absolutely mental. This is currently the Apple 5 series and it is retailing at the moment for £399. It is excessive, I know. I'm not trying to tell everyone to go and to ask people for an Apple Watch because I know for a fact. Not everyone's got a spare £400 just be like, it's Christmas! I did buy my mum a Fitbit and I think that was like £100 pounds. She hardly ever wears it. It's not very good. It's personal preference. Some people prefer fit Fitbits but I think the Apple Watch literally does everything you could possibly think that you might need. Mine is the gold one with the black strap. Also, I forgot to say at the start of this video, if you like my outfit, please go check out my Miss Pat haul. It is like a little shirt dress with this little cute jumper on and it is tagged on there. So please go check that out and give it a comment that you've come from this video. Next is Olaplex. Again, I've mentioned this quite a few times on here and on stories. And my hair journey over the last, I would say, 18 months has been crazy. I over-dyed it and 
it was in a real stay and then it was like at the start of the first lockdown so maybe like march time i decided i was going to really start looking after my hair and spending a little bit more money on looking after it because it was just so dry and awful and it was just not growing, it was snapping off, it was just an absolute mess. So I invested in Olaplex. So Olaplex number three, absolute game changer if you've got broken or damaged hair or you're trying to grow your hair. So what I do is I, when I've got dirty hair, so I washed it this morning, but then tomorrow I will just dampen my hair and so it's like, it's wet, but not wet through. Um, and then I'll put the Olaplex number three treatment through it and then I'll sleep in it and then the next morning when I wake up and I want to style my hair I will wash it with the shampoo and the conditioner and this is number four and five which is the bond maintenance shampoo and bond maintenance conditioner. I will go in after I have washed my hair with the Olaplex number six, the bond smoother and it's a bit like a leaving conditioner. Um, and it just makes your hair so silky, it's smooth, it's really good for styling, it's just, the whole system is revolutionary and I just think this is such a good present for somebody. So at the moment you can buy a holiday gift set which is, I've got my little list of how much things are down here, is £60 and it comes with all of them. I don't think it's got the big sizes of the shampoo and conditioner, I think everything is this size, but even so if you wanted to like try it and see what you thought to the quality and if it was actually worth spending for the big ones, then I would highly recommend buying someone this as a gift or asking for this as a present because I'm not joking, it's going to make such a difference to your hair and I don't know one person who has told me that Olaplex has not worked for them, it is just so good, it's brilliant. So highly recommend the Olaplex stuff and I think for £60 it's a really good gift idea. Then we have Glossy Box. So a few weeks ago I showed you the humongous advent calendar that Glossy Box sent me. It was ridiculously huge. It was amazing. I have opened it because I cannot save things. I'm an absolute nightmare. And I have split it between me, my mum, one of my best friends and Anthony's mum. I do really love the Glossy Box and you can actually buy a subscription for people for 3 or 6 or 12 months. 3 months is £38 and six months is £69 and each month they will get a box like this. Just to let you know, none of these things I'm sharing with you today are sponsored. This is just, I'm giving you what I really like so don't be like, Glossy Box have asked us to send this like I haven't. No one has asked me to say anything about this and I just wanted to share it with you because I really really like their boxes. It's just so exciting when they come through the post and you're like, what's in the box? Inside the box is just so cute. It comes in another box and then you get this one on top. And then you have it comes like this, wrapped up with a little bow around it. And then breaking up the package, again, is such an experience. I just love it. It comes with a little card to tell you what is in the glossy box. And then in this month's, you get a face mask, eyeshadow palette, Another, another mask, an actual clay mask, and a deep conditioning mask. So you get like a little pamper pack. Oh, I'm not even done. There's another one as well. Um, this one is a brush, a makeup brush. So I think, imagine getting one of those every month for three months for 40 quid. I'd be well happy with that gift. So if you're wanting to just get like a little something for someone, say like, I don't know, a friend or... Somebody that you just want to spend £40 on, I think someone receiving that for three months is a really nice thing and they might even keep on with it or, you know, they might be really happy that they get a little present and every time it comes through the door every month, they're reminded of you. So I just think that's a really nice little idea to get a glossy box subscription for three to six months. Then another thing that I absolutely love, wear to death, like you'll see on a lot of my photos, I am always wearing this watch. I absolutely love it. I just think it's such a nice watch and it is from MVMT. I think it just looks a lot more expensive than £119. It's such a nice watch and here's me wearing it. Here's me wearing it again. Here's me wearing it again. Like I literally always wear this watch. I just love this, I can't remember what it's called, where the links are like detailed. I just love the colour 
I just love how simple it is. I love how big it is. It's just a really nice watch. And the packaging it comes in, obviously I've had mine for like two years now, um, so I don't even know what the packaging is, but it comes in like a really nice box. It just feels really luxurious when it comes and it's £119. So if you are looking to buy a watch for your boyfriend or girlfriend or mum or dad, I think MVMT is just a really great brand. Then another one which is quite an expensive purchase and I would say this is definitely for my girls who are 30 plus, maybe even like 28, I've started using it since then, um, but it is skincare um, and it's not just regular skincare so I do have lots of issues with my skin at the moment and this is for anti-aging. Um, I would like to say that my skin is looking quite good to so say that I'm nearly 31. I'm 31 in January. And I really am obsessed with looking after my skin. I do have the occasional bit of Botox once a year. And I have always really looked after my skin to try and slow down the aging process of wrinkles. My mum used to be a beautician. So she has drilled it into me to always look after my skin, which I have. And then I wanted to like take it up another level. Because I just don't want to be having Botox all the time. I see girls who are like young 20s having Botox every three to six months and it's just not a good idea. For me, I wait until the Botox has completely gone out of my face and then I'll have it topped up because you don't want to be filling your face constantly with Botox. It just will not have the same effect. So for me, I just have it in three areas very subtly once a year and that has worked a treat for me. But while I'm also doing the Botox once a year, I also have this little device. And this device is called a Newer. And you get this lifting activating gel. And then you get this little device which you plug into the wall. So I literally do it next to the bathroom. And you put the gel on first and then you get this device. It turns from a blue to a green colour. And then you just roll it on your face. So I've got a website up here to tell you more about it. So it is a non-invasive home use skin tightening device. Sounds extreme. But it reduces fine lines and wrinkles and helps to rebuild and remodel healthy new collagen. So when I was doing my skincare blog, you can even find it if you wanted to go back and read about it. Um, I wanted to go and have Botox done, I think when I was like 26 years old, maybe 27, I can't remember. And the clinic that I went to refused to do it. And to this day, I'm so glad it was Face the Future near Wakefield and they're amazing. Um, they, they said they really highly recommend that I'm too young to have Botox, to take vitamin A tablets and to do stuff that's going to help produce collagen. So ever since then, I've been really into helping my skin produce more collagen so this device does that basically and so it's a clinically validated home use skin tightening device that is powered by a unique 3d radio frequency technology the same technology used by doctors and practitioners worldwide to develop to deliver professional endemide aesthetic treatments so basically when you go to like high-end clinic for a facial like the one that I mentioned on my stories not that long ago where I went to Rudding Park Spa and I had one of the Elemis facials they have these like different devices which triggers deep into your skin so I'm not gonna get too much into it because I feel like this is like a for a topic for another video but there's layers to your skin, so anything that you put on, so say if you went to the shop and you went and bought like a skin treatment that had retinol in it or had something that's going to, it says it's going to reduce wrinkles. That is only surface level of your skin, the top, top layer. To actually make a big difference, you need to go down into the deeper layers of your skin, which is where the collagen is produced, which is why we have Botox and things like that, because it goes into the deeper layers of our skin. Where this is what this does, and it has like a radio frequency, so it shines a red light, and I use it a little bit like a device like that, and it's just, I think it's really good. It definitely helps tighten my skin. I'm also starting to do it on my neck because I'm definitely starting to show signs of aging on my neck I'm getting these like creases I mean there's nothing wrong with aging gracefully like I'm all for aging gracefully but why would I not help the aging process if I can so this next is on is from Be Perfect can you imagine getting this under the tree it is absolutely huge it reminds me of the shape of like a Cadbury selection box so if it was wrapped you would 100% think Grand's got me a selection box great and then you get it and you'd be like 
oh my gosh it's amazing so i'm gonna disappear for a second so i can show you what it's like inside ready wow oh my god it is literally the best selection box it's beautiful so you get nine amazing lip glosses the packaging is just next level the colors are mocha salted caramel ice latte so extra drip drip sugar sugar red velvet pink frosting and iced i mean that is a nude lipstick wearer's dream and that is priced at let's get my list again 50 pounds which i think is a really nice little surprise next we have something that i again have raved about on instagram loads of times and you will be able to see the results right now because i've got a fresh set painted and it's absolutely perfect for right now because all salons are closed and it is the Miley at home gel set so it looks like this it has a little tray underneath it and it has three different settings on the back so it has 15 seconds 30 seconds and 60 seconds and this one is the uva one so basically you get in the kit a base coat a color a top coat and then you literally keep putting them underneath every set and they're amazing and these are what the little gels look like you can keep buying different colored gels as well and they're really cheap for the gels um the shade that i'm wearing today is diva and they're just i just absolutely love the miley kits they're just so practical and quick and the quality is good this will last me for the next four or five days and then i'll just change the color i'll top it up this kit is currently 90 pounds on amazon and everything that you see here today i have linked below so you can easily quickly go grab the link so you're not searching for hours to try and find them so next is something that i have found has made the biggest difference to my makeup routine and that is having a good set of brushes these ones have been sent to me by this brand called Nanshi. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, and it comes with this bag. They have a starter kit, which is a $54.95. And the reason I wanted to share this brand with you is because I love that you can also buy these, which are stick on cleaning bits. So if you've ever had like a big set of brushes, you will know that they get dirty really quickly and you have to keep on top of it. And if you are like me and suffering with mask acne at the moment, which is mask acne, having clean brushes every week is really important. So I absolutely love that they have these little cleaning kits. So the cleaning kit is $12.95 and then the actual brush set is $54.95. And it comes in this really nice little silk bag, which I love. And all of the brushes are just super, super nice. So this one, is a face sculpting one they come in either black or white lash blending brush eyeliner and eyebrow pencil a face shaping brush powder brush just having brushes to put makeup on makes a different such a difference i used to be the type to put it on my hands can you believe this i'd be like No. So having a good set of brushes makes the biggest difference. If you don't want to spend this much on a set, Boohoo also do great starter kits and they are dirt cheap and a great little dust addition to have if you're going to start on brushes. And you can also get the brush soap which cleans them as well. So honestly, if you don't clean your brushes, I'm judging you right now. I am not even scared to say it. You need to wash your brushes. Next, I've got some stocking fillers to show you, and it is Boohoo. Absolute fave, as always, but, I mean, guys, don't judge me, but I have wore these to death. <laughs> but they are my Boohoo slippers. I did them in my Boohoo haul, I think it was last month or the month before. I haven't taken them off at all. Look how warm they are inside, but they are so fluffy, I can't tell you. Like, I'm, I'm just sh still shocked that it's not real fur. It literally looks real fur. Obviously, I would never wear real fur, but... It just looks so real and I'm not joking, they are so comfy, it is a joke. Those ones are £11.90 currently and then they've also sent me these ones for my next haul. So I want to include them in this and, oh, hun, soft. I just, I'm obsessed with slippers. I've never really been a big slipper wearer and then since lockdown happened, I'm like, I just, I feel like I'm not complete in the house without my slippers, so... 
the slippers from Boohoo, bargains, a great stocking filler and they just make you feel bougie. For £11, you cannot go wrong. And if you check my Boohoo haul, which is coming very soon, or is already out, um, I have a discount code. So go check that out because it's going to be a good one. Then the last one is a bit of a mixture. So I was going to do the Jo Malone candle, which I absolutely love. This was a gift from Anthony for my 30th. This is like a little extra and I just love it. I will never like them because one, they're £50 a candle. £50. But some people do like to light them. That's up to them. But for me, I like them because it's like a moment. So you got my, this for my 30th. You got me the, uh, another one. No, this one wasn't for my 30th. The black one was for my 30th. This one was when we lived in the flat. I think it was an anniversary. But I know it's really random. And some people were like, just light the bloody candle. But I see them more as like, I'll keep that forever. Even when like, Jo Malone candles are no longer in fashion. I will always keep that and not light it. Because it's just like a moment. It's just like a little gift. A nice little treat. So... I just love them. They look so nice in the house as well. I have these on all my backdrops um, in the house. They're just so nice and like I say, I'm sad I hope I'll never like them. But the little, the last one I wanted to do, because I was going to do the German one, but I think it's just, you, it is what it is. So instead I'm going to do fragrance and I've got three different ones to show you. So this one is one that is if you are looking to buy a bougie fragrance and go all out. It is the Mason Francis rouge 540 and i'm not joking it is one of the best smells you will have ever smell in your entire life it is absolutely beautiful 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 but if you're not wanting to spend that kind of money i found a brand called copycat and they do copycat fragrances they're basically luxury fragrances and they've just copied them so this one is 540 which is the baccarat if you wanted to wear an everyday fragrance and have it in your handbag or have a stocking filler, like we all, me and Auntie always get these stocking fillers. I get him, um, what was it? He, I got him the Green Irish Tweed Creed, the actual one, and then I got him the copycat version so he can keep it in his gym bag and then he's not just wasting his Creed for work or the, after the gym, but it, it smells exactly the same. So, copycat. Um, I've linked these below, there's loads of different ones, I've got this one which is the Baccarat one and then I've also got one that's number 33 I think um, and you can even do samples and stuff, they smell so good honestly, they're really really good so. And then the last fragrance I want to talk to you about is Molecule, so when I went back to university for the second time round and did my media degree, um, a marketing degree, I actually worked at Harvey Nichols for the Christmas period and that is when I came across this because I worked on the fragrance department and it is called Molecule. I only know of Harvey Nichols that sell it, I don't know of any other chain or any other place that sell it, um, but it's really unique. This one is only £38 and it's obviously only a tiny small bottle but it is a really strong fragrance, you don't have to apply a lot and it goes to your pheromones so it smells different on every single person. I first found out about it when I was a personal shopper and somebody came in and I was like, oh my god, you smell amazing. And then they said, oh, it's Molecule. And I was like, okay, I had no idea what it was. And then when I actually started working at Avenue Coles, I was like, oh, that's what it is. So this is like the refill bottle. Um, but I actually use this as my handbag fragrance. Um, and it's unisex. I mean, Anthony share this. We actually just bought his moment for her birthday. And because she said it smelled amazing on Anthony. Um, and it's just such a nice little stocking filler. It's £38 and it smells amazing. They do do the big ones as well, but if you're looking for just a little stocking filler, I think Molecule is a really good shout and again, I've linked it down below. So I feel like that was a lot of gifts to go through, but hopefully you liked something that was in the list and I've inspired you to ask for what you want for Christmas and let me know if you want any of these things in the comments below. Don't forget, if you don't follow me already on Instagram, oh, guys, I'm doing the biggest Christmas giveaway you have ever seen. Like, I cannot tell you how excited I am. It is massive. I don't know how I'm gonna actually send it to somebody. And somebody messaged me saying, is it gonna be international? I wanna say yes, because I'm just so excited about giving this to somebody. So keep your eye. <laughs> on my Instagram stories, it'll be launching very soon and it's gonna be like a massive Christmas giveaway for one person. You will, you could literally give it to people as a Christmas present. There's just gonna be so much stuff. It is 
it's exciting. I'm really excited. I've got some good brands in there. It's going to be the best giveaway I've ever done. And you know I've done some good giveaways. So, if you're not ready, make sure you follow me on Instagram. And if you haven't already, subscribe and like this video. Share it with people. If you share this on your Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram stories, whatever, it would make me so happy because loads of people will be inspired by the Christmas wish list. So, thank you ever so much for watching and I will catch you guys really soon.